Because I go, but I guess I obviously didn't go fast enough to get up that thing. Okay, let me jump in here. Moxie is 100% fine. Let me tell you what happened. I loosened her straps while we were waiting at this roadblock for over two hours, and I forgot to tighten them before we set off again. So that's why you see that her paw came out, but she's 100% fine. Okay, back to the episode. So the deal from the lady is that technically pets are not allowed, but they made an exception or didn't really care that much. So the camping is in the in the garbage there, huh? Is it anywhere here? Anywhere, like, yeah, she said like at the end here. So, and we can just pull our bikes up, so. Okay. I think that's our best bet. You know. So she's not allowed like to we go could, to the waterfall. Yeah. En moto viene también? Si, viene la moto de mi esposa. Es lo que no vean, lo mismo de cuando pasaron ustedes. Si. Uy. Sin modelo, sin educación. Así no se comporta, ¿vale? Así no. Con buenos modelos nomás. Wow. Adiós, adiós, adiós. Pues hasta luego. Pues hasta luego, que les vaya muy bien. ¿Qué tal? Buenas tardes. Maxi. Cam. Cam. No es brava, no, no, no. No, para nada. No. ¿Cómo se llama? Se llama Moxi. Moxi. Qué bonito. Tiene aquí cafecito, aquí blanquito. Y como en estas partes tiene café como un poco fuerte, pero sí está clarito. Ah, oh, wow. Parece, o sea, suena precioso, ¿no? Esta, esa perrita. Can hacemos un, un intercambio. Te doy a ti mi, mi perrita y me das a, a mí la otra, la tuya. ¿Te parece? Yo me quiero con mi chiquita. Ah, ok. No, esta es Aquí no, no hay trato. Sí, sí. Ok, chao. ¿eh? It's um, like 700 stairs down to the waterfall. So I'm saying the people walk down the 700 stairs, then they get to the waterfall. Is that right by the water? Probably to the bottom, below the waterfall, would be my guess. Jeez. Well, we don't want to do that with Moxie with her hips or her back. Um, it's a lot of steps for her to walk. If we had the drone, we could get a view of it, but I killed the drone. The first one. The Moxie. second one had a defect. Um, I killed the third one. The fourth one, I think, got jostled Moxie. around. The fifth one, I definitely killed. So that's five of them. Jessica's a little concerned about Moxie being difficult. Come, Moxie. Come, Moxie. After hours, you can do whatever you want. So poor Moxie, like she's been been on this whole time. Like she was over there because she thought she heard something, so she had to sit up. Then she was over here by her bed, and she like was still looking out and about. And then eventually, she just came over to the tent and started snuffing at it, like she wanted to come in the door and lay down so we decided we uh i think it's time for her so we put her bed in there and uh we opened up the fly so that she could still see out a little bit and see that we're here and now she's just laying there sleeping this is the first time we've kind of been able to just put her in the tent by herself <laughs> she's like i am done <laughs> she just wants shut me sleep. down okay so i'm headed down to see the waterfall. It's just about uh, 
sunrise. I'm gonna check it out, take some shots, and then we'll, uh, we'll start breakfast. Okay, good morning. I am making breakfast while Greg is going for a jog. Um, we did have some overnight ants uh, that got into some of our stuff. Not horrible. Uh, it's called the syrup. At least they seem to like the sugar from the syrup, but they're all sort of crawling around things. So we got to shake it out before we uh, move forward. But right now I am boiling water. It's not ready yet for coffee. And then I've got all of these lovely eggs for scrambled eggs. Um, we got instant coffee today. Well, it looks like Jess has gotten everything tidied up. Obviously Moxie has helped a ton and now she's just resting from her exertions. We've got about uh, five and a half hours to make it to Komitan and we're going to get our COVID test today. So hopefully our COVID tests come out negative um, and hopefully we get the results really quickly and then tomorrow morning we can cross over and then ride home. Um, it's a bit bittersweet to be going home uh, the trip has been really great, and uh, we've had we've got to see a lot of things, a lot of animals. So that's always really good for me because I enjoy that. Yeah, it's just been nice being on the road. I actually rode down on this dirt road yesterday. It was it was a bit scary, but I did it. Good girl, Moxie. Over here. Good girl. We have a little decision to make, and we have a ritual for decision making when we want to know what fate has in store. Okay, so we've got our wheel of destiny there, somehow. <laughs> so this is going to be, if we're going to take the 101, which is the more scenic route. scenic route, and this is if we take the 190. Which is the paid route. Which is, yeah, so the can't straight really fast see that. So that's the 101 we, and that's the 190D. Yeah, I think we know and the line goes there. The line is here. Alright, so Jess is going to give the knife of destiny a spin and then we're going to do what it says. Okay. The 190. Yeah. Best of three. Clearly the one the knife is oh, oh okay. there we go that's closer okay, to Okay good so the knife uh Oh there we go I guess it's a it's like a world series There we oh, go Okay so I guess we're taking the uh scenic 101 the Scenic 101 The knife has spoken All right let's do it So we passed through Akala, which is actually a lovely little town, and we're back along the river, and Moxie has no idea that this is waiting for her. She can just plunge in, 
find their way. Paws, tongue, everything gets to go in the water. Go on, swim for it. Go get it, go get it. Swim for it. Good girl. Yeah, look at you. Good girl, Moxie. So these guys behind me have a tractor. In the back of the tractor, there's a couple of uh, big like water barrels. Uh, I don't know what you call them in English, but anyway, for filling with fresh water and then they'll take that to their home or ranch or whatever and that's the water they'll use until the next time they need water and uh, they'll fill it again. So that's how they get their water. Meanwhile, back at the farm, Moxie's torn this whole area up. She's gotten it all wet and shaking all over us. Crashing it all over us. Wow, Jess. You're not joking around with that one. <laughs> Buenas tardes, muy buenas tardes. Spanish telenovela, and back there is the lab. Yeah, that was it. Okay, so that the nose or is it? It's the nose one for the the antigeno. This was like deep. Nasal penetration. Uh, no, your eyes. Uh, okay. They okay. Yeah, you're up. Do I have to give anything? No. Oh. Oh God, my nose is just destroyed from that experience. Oh, last time we did it, it was nothing like that. She really went deep sea drilling on that one. Ah. Okay, so we're in our Airbnb. We got our COVID test sorted. What are we? No reactivo. No reactivos, los dos. So both of us are non-reactive, meaning negative. So I feel like we did a good job of being socially distant during this trip. Um, I'm pleased with us. Moxie is absolutely finished. She has been rolled up and non-responsive pretty much since we got in here. So we're going to let her sleep out here on her bed. We are ready, uh, really, for an early morning tomorrow. Because We're waking up at five. Five o'clock wake up. Okay. We're gonna try and get out here at six ish. Six, six ish. Yeah, six. I think we can do six. If we both take a shower and get ready and go, we don't have anything much to put back on the bike. I think we can do a six o'clock start. So we're at the uh, Immigration and Customs on the Mexico side. It's sort of a drizzly morning. Um, first order of business is to go here across the street where they do photocopying and hopefully printing because we've got to print out our uh, COVID test results. I tengo a document that I need to print. I have a flash. Do you have a flash? It's a USB. It's Ah, perdón.
to another traveler. But he's going the other way. You don't want to exchange? We have uh, terrible luck with sort of just running into other, you know, people doing cool travels. How much longer do you have on your trip now? <laughs> it's been years, huh? Uh, I'm going to turn. I'm going to turn. Alright, so this is the X Factor, is the uh, road construction here. They, from some of the rains this morning, they had a landslide. And so it gave us a chance uh, to strip off our, our, our cold weather clothes, but we're stuck in the sun here waiting. And at least Moxie can get, uh, do I need to prime her? Nope, nope. Get started. So we gotta water the uh, water the dog and hope this doesn't last too long. That's it. After all that good water that I gave you, come on. Come she on. didn't need that much. She just needed a sip. There we go. I primed her. <laughs> We've been here what, like 20 minutes? Yeah. I was rubbing Moxie's eyes for like. Five minutes straight. She loves it. She wants to sleep. Look. Or really just Her doesn't want closed. the Rexpex on. It took us about two hours of waiting until they finally let us go. We knew it was going to be a madhouse. Like there were probably like 30 bikes up front. There were buses. There were pickups. There were personal cars on either side. It was, it was pandemonium. And we knew it was going to happen. And so the bikes start going. And I'm on the side because I was waiting there because it was shady. So the, there was a car beside me, like a, a little SUV, and the girl came out and she took a photo of Moxie. And, and Greg and I were laughing, like, well, probably he'll let me go out in front of him because, like, he, like I let him take a photo. There's just no decency in the moment of the pandemonium of, like, okay, just let her back onto the road at that point. Ugh, kills me. I'm sure under any other circumstance they are nice people. We were, like, side by side. He was here, and I was, like, in the dip, and there was a little, a little lip. And so I start pulling up in front of him, but then he goes forward. So then I have to wait for him to go, so I'm, I'm like, I'm not on the thing yet. And Greg and some other bikes are behind me here, are behind with the a, other with car. With a huge chicken bus behind with us. With a huge chicken bus. And so once he passes, I go, but I guess I obviously didn't go fast enough to get up that thing. Lost my balance on either side, and then bloop, flop down on the side. Jump right off. Moxie, one paw, uh, she touched, the, she was touching the floor. Um, and so I reach over and like I go and unclip her from the front. And so now both of her paws are on the floor, but she's still clipped in on the back. Meanwhile, there's the guy who's like selling candy who just wants to like lift the bike from the carrier. And Greg's like, no, don't touch it. Um, so Greg comes around and he's the one who like helps to like lift the bike appropriately. I parked my bike knowing full well that I was totally blocking this bus, but I wanted to keep sort of a protective sphere there um, while we were lifting the bike. So my bike was boxing him in. The assistant or whatever from the chicken bus comes down not to help lift her bike, but to tell me to move mine, and I told him what he could go do with himself. So the bike gets up, um, Moxie's like floating off of it because I had unclipped her in the front, so I'm like lifting her up to get her onto the thing. Finally, she's up there. Um, everybody's talking like crazy, trying to get us out of the way. Turns out, it looks like nothing really happened to my bike. I got a scratch on my pannier. Mox is perfectly fine. She's resting outside in doggy jail. And uh, yeah, I just feel a little silly that it happened. Um, I think I was being really cautious because I knew that the people were coming behind me and I didn't want to like gun up and like get knocked into somebody or do something stupid. So then I pussyfooted and then I flipped over. So. But Moxie's fine, and I'm fine, and my bike is fine. We still have another three and a half hours left to get back home. Okay, Greg, tell us, where are we? Oh, we are home. That was an odyssey. What a day. There's construction going on everywhere. 
everywhere. A lot of tourism happening. There's a lot of things open here. It's like all of Guatemala hit 2021 and said like down the toilet with the last year. Yeah. Let's get started. And it is crazy out here. Yeah. But we're wow. very happy to be home. Yeah. Awesome trip. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you really enjoyed the episode. You've seen the thousands of kilometers that I've ridden with Moxie in her cockpit throughout all these episodes. And this is the first time that her paw has come out in one of my tip overs. And it's really because her straps were loosened while we were waiting there for so long and I forgot to tighten them before we set off. But I see it as a teachable moment that makes sure that your dog is harnessed in correctly with the straps tightened before you set off. So our next episode is coming out real soon and it's about a trip that we did all around Guatemala. And it was really cool because we got a chance to visit some of these hidden gems that we hadn't seen before so you don't want to miss it so make sure that you subscribe to us here on youtube and at facebook and instagram at go roughly